All right, Katie, thank you. Breaking overnight, this statue of Christopher Columbus beheaded in Boston as monuments across the country come under renewed fire from activists. The eye opener's Ted Wayman is live now in the North End with the investigation now underway. Ted. Uh, good morning, Antoinette. Let's take you right to it. There is the statue with the head knocked off right here in Christopher Columbus Park in the North End. And now police are trying to figure out who did it. We don't know exactly when it happened, but we're understood that it was reported sometime around midnight. Police arrived to find the statue decapitated and the head on the ground. This isn't the first time the new fallout and reaction a day after protesters pulled down the statue of Christopher Columbus at the state capitol. No one was arrested, but Minnesota state, state troopers tell us that they have identified the instigator who they say will face charges related to destruction of public property. That decision, however, will be up to the Ramsey County attorney once the investigation is complete. Here is what Governor Tim Walls and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan had to say about it today. I will not shed a tear over the loss of a statue that honored someone who, by of his own admission, sold nine and ten-year-old girls into sex slavery. Disgusting. Animal and human sacrifice, dismemberment. Marriage to the Beast. September 7th is a evil day on the earth. September 20th. This is what these demons do on these days. September 23rd. Evil. Or sacrifice. October 13th. Alright. Continuous high holidays. 13th is the reverse date of October 31st. So they just go hard and October with their devil blood rituals all the way through November 4th. They just do nothing but hellish demonic abduction ceremonial preparation holding of sacrificial victims for all devil's eve. Human sacrifice. Alright? October 13th. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all. You know. Oh my bad. October 13th. happens in October around the 13th mm. got good old Columbus Day <laughs> damn devil Columbus Day is a national holiday in many countries of America and elsewhere which officially celebrates the anniversary of Christoph Colombo arrival in the Americas on October 12th 1492 this is Wikipedia alright got your kids celebrate Columbus Day. It's just a high ritual day. Homage to a devil, right? Columbus, October 12th, 1492. Alright. I just went through all this. I'm gonna go through it again. Cause we're gonna learn today. Here's your life. Alright. There we go. Nine reasons Christopher Columbus was a murderer, tyrant, and scoundrel. even celebrate Columbus Day, <clears throat> all right? Murderer, tyrant, and scoundrel. Let that sink in. By Dylan Matthews. That's a picture of the devil, all right? Columbus. Evil, evil demon that walked the earth. Did nothing but harm people. Columbus was a homicidal tyrant who initiated the two greatest crimes in history of the Western Hemisphere, the Atlantic slave trade and the American Indian genocide. All right. Columbus kidnapped a Caribbean woman and gave her to a crew member to rape. And these are the bird green quotes. Michelle de Cuneo who participated in Columbus' second expedition to the Americas. This is page 143. I'll just fly through this real quick. Uh, while I was in a boat, I captured a very beautiful woman whom 
Columbus gave to me when I had taken her to my cabin. She was naked. I was filled with the desire to take my pleasure with her and attempted to satisfy my desire. She was unwilling and so treated me with her nails that I wish I never had begun. So he, she's scratching him with the, her nails because she's fighting off this man. I then took a piece of rope and whipped her soundly and she let forth such incredible screams that you would have not believed your ears. Eventually, we came to such turns, I assure you, that you would have thought she had been brought up in a school of whores. All right? So he beat that woman into submission uh, until she gave her, you know, he raped her because she couldn't say no. Scratching and fighting back didn't work. He, he beat her until she submitted and did all the sexual acts he acts or forced her into, right? So these are these damn devils, and I've seen that. I saw that going up and down Facebook years ago. This, you know, you'll see that that actual story I've seen printed in a lot of different places. Number two, on Hispaniola, a member of Columbus crew publicly cut off an Indian's ears to shock others into submission. All right? There's the island. Hispaniola now divided between the Dominican Republic and Haiti. And if you look at your 12 tribes of Israel, that is, um, those are Israelites, right? After an attack by more than 2,000 Indians, Columbus had an up underling Alfonso de Ojeda bring him three Indian leaders, whom Columbus then ordered publicly beheaded. Ojeda also ordered his men to grab another Indian, bring him to the middle of his village, and cut off his ears. Retribution for the Indians failing to be helpful to the Spaniards when fording a stream. These are Virgin, pages 170-171. Columbus kidnapped and enslaved more than a thousand people on Hispaniola. According to Canario, Columbus ordered 1,500 men and women seized, letting 400 go and condemning 500 to be sent to Spain and another 600 to be enslaved by Spanish men remaining on the island. About 200 of the 500 sent to Spain died on the voyage and were thrown by the Spanish into the Atlantic Ocean. Damn devil, Columbus was the devil. These are the bird green quotes. Pages 9, 196 to 197. Columbus forced Indians to collect gold for him or else die. Columbus ordered every Indian over 14 to give a large quantity of gold to the Spanish. On pain of death, those in region without much gold were allowed to give cotton instead. Participants in the system were given a stamped copper or brass token to wear around their neck, in which became a symbol of intolerable shame. Right? You have these people treating these Israelites like slaves already. He put us into slavery and bondage. About 50,000 Indians committed mass suicide rather than comply with the Spanish. These are the Burgering X quotes, page 204. The Indians destroyed their stores of bread so that neither they nor the invaders would be able to eat it. They plunged off cliffs, they poisoned themselves with roots and they starved themselves to death. Oppressed by the impossible requirements to deliver tributes of gold, the Indians were no longer able to tend their fields or care for their sick children and elderly. They had given up and committed mass suicide to avoid being killed or captured by Christians and to avoid sharing their land with them, their fields, groves, beaches, forests, and women, the future of their people. So they rather kill themselves than give their children into Columbus for slavery and uh, their wives and women and daughters to be raped and their mothers and grandmothers, right? So they all killed themselves and destroyed what they had so that Columbus and them couldn't take their bread and their store goods. The people, these Israelites rather die than be put into captivity under a tyrant. Okay? So... That was Hispaniola, 1492, between 1494 and 1496, 100,000 
Israelites died half due to mass suicide. In 1508, the population was down to 60,000. By 1548, it was estimated to be only 500. All right. So that's Columbus. That's who you guys are paying homage to, this damn devil. And he, uh, he's part of the high holy days of they satanic nonsense, right? October 13th through October 28th, which is their satanic days.